What is phytoremediation? Phytoremediation, a newer green technology, is the use of green plants to remove pollutants from the soil or render them harmless. Certain plants, such as alpine pennycress, Flas by Sarah Lessens have been identified as metal hyperaccumulators. Researchers have found that these plants can grow in soils contaminated with toxic heavy metals, including cadmium, zinc, and nickel. The plants extract the toxic heavy metals from the soil and concentrate them in the stems shoots, and leaves. These plant tissues may then be collected and disposed of in a hazardous waste landfill. Researchers are investigating ways to recover the metals by extracting them from the plants. Although phytomediation is limited by how deep the roots of the plants grow in the soil, it is a less costly alternative way to clean up hazardous waste sites. Which hurricane in the United States was the most destructive? The economic loss caused by Hurricane Katrina is estimated at $100 to $150 billion making it the costliest natural disaster in United States. The death toll for Katrina was less than 2,000, which is significant although nowhere near the death toll of at least 8,000 during the Galveston hurricane in 1900. Katrina made landfall in Plaquemines Parish, Louisiana as a Category 3 hurricane with winds of 125 miles per hour, 201 kilometers per hour. On August 29, 2005, the coastal areas of Louisiana, including New Orleans, Mississippi, and Alabama suffered extensive damage. What plants produce essential oils that are commonly used in aromatherapy? Aromatherapy is a holistic approach to healing using essential oils extracted from plants. Holistic medicine looks at the health of the whole individual. And treatments emphasize the connection of mind, body, and spirit. The term aromatherapy was first used by Rene Gattafossi, 1881-1950. A French perfume chemist. He discovered the healing powers of lavender oil following a laboratory accident during which he burned his hand. Gattafossi began to investigate the properties of lavender oil and other essential oils and published a book on plant extracts. During aromatherapy treatments, essential oils are absorbed through breath or the pores of the skin. This process triggers certain physiological responses. How did the search for cinnamon lead to the discovery of North and South America? Christopher Columbus, 1451-1506, was one of many explorers trying to find a direct sea route to Asia, which during the 15th century was thought to be rich with spices. 
cinnamon and other spices were so valued in Columbus's era that a new direct route to Asia would have brought untold wealth to the discoverer and his country. What are the transition elements? The transition elements are the 10 subgroups of elements between group 2 and group 13. Starting with period 4. They include gold, O, element 79, silver, AG, element 47. Platinum, PT, element 78, iron, Fe, element 26, copper, Cu, element 29, and other metals. All transition elements are metals. Compared to alkali and alkaline earth metals. They are usually harder and more brittle and have higher melting points. Transition metals are also good conductors of heat and electricity. They have variable valences, and compounds of transition elements are often colored. Transition elements are so named because they comprise a gradual shift from the strongly electropositive elements of groups I and II to the electronegative elements of groups VI and VII. What is El Nino? El Nino is the unusual warming of the surface waters of large parts of the tropical Pacific Ocean. Occurring around Christmas time, it is named after the Christ Child. El Nino occurs erratically every three to seven years. It brings heavy rains and flooding to Peru, Ecuador, and Southern California. And a milder winter with less snow to the northeastern United States. Studies reveal that El Nino is not an isolated occurrence. But is instead part of a pattern of change in the global circulation of the oceans and atmosphere. The 1982-1983 El Nino was one of the most severe climate events of the 20th century in both its geographical extent as well as in the degree of warming, 14 degrees Fahrenheit or 8 degrees Celsius. What were Lothar Meyer's contributions to the periodic table? Lothar Meyer, 1830-1895, a German chemist, prepared a periodic table that resembled closely Mendeleev's periodic table. He did not publish his periodic table until after Mendeleev's paper on the periodic table was published in 1869. It is believed his work was influential in causing some of the revisions Mendeleev made in the second version of his periodic table. Published in 1870. Specifically, Meyer focused on the periodicity of the physical properties of the elements. While Mendeleev's focus was the chemical consequences of the periodic law. What features of reptiles enabled them to become true land vertebrates? Legs were arranged to support the body's weight more effectively than in amphibians. 
allowing reptile bodies to be larger and to run. Reptilian lungs were more developed with a greatly increased surface area for gas exchange than the sac-like lungs of amphibians. The three-chambered heart of reptiles was more efficient than the three-chambered amphibian heart. In addition, the skin was covered with hard, dry scales to minimize water loss. However, the most important evolutionary adaptation was the amniotic egg. In which an embryo could survive and develop on land. The eggs were surrounded by a protective shell that prevented the developing embryo from drying out. Which breeds of dogs are best for families with young children? Research has shown that Golden Retriever, Labrador Retriever, Beagle, Collie, Bichon Frise, Cairn Terrier, Pug, Coonhound, Boxer, Basset Hound, or mixes of these breeds are best for families with young children. Who are the fathers of space flight? In 1903, Konstantiny Tsiolkovsky, 1857-1935, a Russian high school teacher, completed the first scientific paper on the use of rockets for space travel. Several years later, Robert H. Goddard 1882-1945 of the United States and Hermann Oberth, 1894-1989, of Germany awakened wider scientific interest in space travel. These three men worked individually on many of the technical problems of rocketry and space travel. They are known, therefore, as the fathers of space flight. In 1919, Goddard wrote the paper, a method of reaching extreme altitudes which explained how rockets could be used to explore the upper atmosphere and described a way to send a rocket to the moon. During the 1920s Tsiolkovsky wrote a series of new studies that included detailed descriptions of multi-stage rockets. In 1923, Oberth wrote the rocket into interplanetary space, which discussed the technical problems of space flight and also described what a spaceship would be like. What are the functions of stems? The four main functions of stems are, 1, to support leaves, 2, to produce carbohydrates, 3, to store materials such as water and starch, and 4, to transport water and solutes between roots and leaves. Stems provide the link between the water and dissolved nutrients of the soil and the leaves. In plants, a new cell wall forms what is photosynthesis and why is it important? Photosynthesis, from the Greek word photo, meaning light, and synthesis. From the Greek work syntithene, which means to put together, is the process by which plants use. 
energy derived from light in order to make food molecules from carbon dioxide and water. Oxygen, O2, is produced as a waste product of this process. Photosynthesis is a dual-staged process with multiple components. Ultimately, photosynthesis is the process that provides food for the entire world. Each year more than 250 billion metric tons of sugar are created through photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a source of food not only for plants, but also all organisms that are not capable of internally producing their own food, including humans. How have genetics been linked to the Salem witch trials held in 1692 in Salem, Massachusetts? It is believed that some of the early English colonists that settled in New England may have had Huntington's disease. Huntington's disease is an autosomal dominant disorder characterized by late onset symptoms. Age 40 to 50, such as mild behavioral and neurological changes. As the disease progresses, psychiatric problems develop that frequently lead to insanity. Early descriptions of the odd behavior included names such as that disorder and St. Vitus's dance to describe involuntary muscle jerks and twitches. Many of the witches who were on trial for possession may have had Huntington's disease, which causes uncontrollable movements and odd behavior. However, if the protein product is not known, the task is more difficult. An example of this would be that of finding the susceptibility gene for late-onset Alzheimer's disease. DNA samples would be collected from family members of a patient with late-onset Alzheimer's disease. The DNA would be cut with restriction endonucleases. And restriction fragment length polymorphisms, RFLPs, would be compared among the family. If certain RFLPs are only found when the disease gene is present, then it is assumed that the distinctive fragments are markers for the gene. Geneticists then sequence the DNA in the same area of the chromosome where the marker was found, looking for potential gene candidates. What was the typical lifespan of dinosaurs? The lifespan has been estimated at 75 to 300 years. Such estimates are educated guesses. From examination of the microstructure of dinosaur bones. Scientists have inferred that they matured slowly and probably had proportionately long lifespans. The states slash territories in the United States with the greatest incidence of AIDS. Cases are reported in the following table, what are the symptoms and signs of AIDS? The early symptoms, AIDS-related complex, or ARC, symptoms, include night sweats, prolonged fevers, severe weight loss, persistent diarrhea, skin rash, persistent cough, and shortness of breath. 
the diagnosis changes to AIDS, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, when the immune system is affected and the patient becomes susceptible to opportunistic infections and unusual cancers, such as herpes viruses. Herpes simplex, herpes zoster, cytomegalovirus infection, candida albicans, fungus, infection. Cryptosporidium enterocolitis, protozoan intestinal infection, pneumocystis carinii pneumonia. PCP, a common AIDS lung infection, toxoplasmosis, protozoan brain infection, progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy. PML, a central nervous system disease causing gradual brain degeneration. Mycobacterium avium intracellulari infection, MI, a common generalized bacterial infection, and Kaposi's sarcoma. A malignant skin cancer characterized by blue-red nodules on limbs and body. And internally in the gastrointestinal and respiratory tracts, where the tumors cause severe internal bleeding. The signs of AIDS are generalized swollen glands, emaciation, blue or purple-brown spots on the body. Especially on the legs and arms, prolonged pneumonia and oral thrush. What is lithotripsy? Lithotripsy is the use of ultrasonic or shock waves to pulverize kidney stones. Calculi, allowing the small particles to be excreted or removed from the body. There are two different methods extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy, ESWL, and percutaneous lithotripsy. The ESWL method, used on smaller stones, breaks up the stones with external shockwaves from a machine called a lithotriptor. This technique has eliminated the need for more invasive stone surgery in many cases. For larger stones, a type of endoscope, called a nephroscope, is inserted into the kidney through a small incision. The ultrasonic waves from the nephroscope shatter the stones. And the fragments are removed through the nephroscope. How is solar energy converted into electricity? Solar energy is converted into electricity using photovoltaic PV cells or concentrating solar power plants. Photovoltaic cells convert sunlight directly into electricity. Individual PV cells are combined in modules of about 40 cells to form a solar panel. 10 to 20 solar panels are used to power a typical home. The panels are usually mounted on the home facing south or mounted onto a tracking device that follows the sun for the maximum exposure to sunlight. Power plants and other industrial locations combine more solar panels to generate electricity. Concentrating solar power plants collect the heat, energy, from the sun to heat a fluid. Which produces steam that drives a generator to produce electricity. The three main types of concentrating solar power systems are parabolic trough, solar dish, and solar power tower, which describe the different types of collectors. 
parabolic troughs collectors have a long, rectangular U-shaped reflector or mirror focused on the sun with a tube, receiver, along its length. A solar dish looks very much like a large satellite dish that concentrates the sunlight into a thermal receiver that absorbs and collects the heat and transfers it to the engine generator. The engine produces mechanical power, which is used to run a generator converting mechanical power into electrical power. A solar tower uses a field of flat, sun tracking mirrors, called heliostats. To collect and concentrate the sunlight onto a tower mounted heat exchanger, receiver. A fluid is heated in the receiver to generate steam, which is used in a generator to produce electricity. What is Belgian block? Belgian block is a road building material, first used in Brussels, Belgium. And introduced into New York about 1850. Its shape is a truncated pyramid with a base of about 5 to 6 inches. 13 to 15 centimeters, square and a depth of 7 to 8 inches, 18 to 20.5 centimeters. The bottom of the block is not more than 1 inch, 2.5 centimeters, different from the top. The original blocks were cut from trap rock from the Palisades of New Jersey. Belgian blocks replaced cobblestones mainly because they're regular. Shape allowed them to remain in place better than cobblestones. They were not universally adopted, however. Because they would wear round and create joints or openings that would then form ruts and hollows. Although they provided a smooth surface compared to the uneven cobblestones. They still made for a rough and noisy ride. What is lactose intolerance? Lactose, the principal sugar in cow's milk and found only in dairy products. Requires the enzyme lactase for human digestion. Lactose intolerance occurs when the lining of the walls of a person's Small intestine does not produce normal amounts of this enzyme. Lactose intolerance causes abdominal cramps, bloating, diarrhea, and excessive gas when more than a certain amount of milk is ingested. Most people are less able to tolerate lactose as they grow older. A person having lactose intolerance need not eliminate dairy products totally from the diet. Decreasing the consumption of milk products, drinking milk only during meals. And getting calcium from cheese, yogurt and other dairy products having lower lactose values are options. Another alternative is to buy a commercial lactose preparation that can be mixed into milk. These preparations convert lactose into simple sugars that can be easily digested. What are the main components of a bacterial cell?
The major components of a bacterial cell are the plasma membrane, cell wall, and a nuclear region containing a single, circular DNA molecule. Plasmid small circular pieces of DNA that exist independently of the bacterial chromosome are also present in a bacterial cell. In addition, some bacteria may have flagella, which aids in movement, pili or fimbriae, which are short. Hair-like appendages that help bacteria adhere to various surfaces, including the cells that they infect. Or a capsule of slime around the cell wall that protects it from other microorganisms. Why does the color of the sun vary? Sunlight contains all the colors of the rainbow, which blend to form white light, making sunlight appear white. At times, some of the color wavelengths, especially blue, become scattered in Earth's atmosphere and the sunlight appears colored. When the sun is high in the sky, some of the blue rays are scattered in Earth's atmosphere. At such times, the sky looks blue and the sun appears to be yellow. At sunrise or sunset, when the light must follow a longer path through Earth's atmosphere, the sun looks red, red having the longest wavelengths. What was the distribution of radioactive fallout after the 1986 Chernobyl accident? Radioactive fallout, containing the isotope cesium-137, and nuclear contamination covered an enormous area. Including Belarusia, Latvia, Lithuania, the central portion of the then Soviet Union. The Scandinavian countries, the Ukraine, Poland, Austria, Czechoslovakia, Germany, Switzerland, Northern Italy, Eastern France, Romania, Bulgaria, Greece, Yugoslavia, the Netherlands, and the United Kingdom. The fallout, extremely uneven because of the shifting wind patterns. Extended 1,200 to 1,300 miles, 1,930 to 2,090 kilometers, from the point of the accident. Estimates of the effects of this fallout range from 28,000 to 100. 000 deaths from cancer and genetic defects within the next 50 years. In particular, livestock in high rainfall areas received unacceptable dosages of radiation. Which plants have been used to create dyes? Natural materials, including many plants, were the source of all dyes until the late 19th century. Blue dye was historically rare and was obtained from the indigo plant, Indigo tincture toria. Another color difficult to obtain for dye was red. The matter plant, Rubia tinctorum was an excellent source of red dye and was used for the famous red coats of the British Army. Native Americans painted their faces and dyed their clothes red with the root of the bloodroot wildflower. 
which is also called Redroot, Indian paint, and Tetherwort. Bloodroot, Sanguinaria canadensis, found in shady, damp, and woodsy soils. Blooms in May and has white flowers that are 2 inches, 5 centimeters, wide. Do any mammals fly? Bats, order Chiroptera with 986 species, are the only truly flying mammals. Although several gliding mammals are referred to as flying, such as the flying squirrel and flying lemur. The wings of bats are double membranes of skin stretching from the sides of the body to the hind legs and tail. And are actually skin extensions of the back and belly. The wing membranes are supported by the elongated fingers of the forelimbs, or arms. Nocturnal, active at night, ranging in length from 1.5 inches, 25 millimeters, to 1.3 feet, 40.6 centimeters, and living in caves or crevices. Bats inhabit most of the temperate and tropical regions of both hemispheres. The majority of species feed on insects and fruit. While some tropical species eat pollen and nectar of flowers, and insects found inside them. Moderate-sized species usually prey on small mammals, birds, lizards, and frogs, and some eat fish. But true vampire bats, three species, eat the blood of animals by making an Incision in the animal's skin from these bats, animals can contract rabies. Most bats do not find their way around by sight but have evolved a sonar system. Called echolocation, for locating solid objects. Bats emit vocal sounds through the nose or mouth while flying. These sounds usually above the human hearing range, are reflected back as echoes. This method enables bats, when flying in darkness, to avoid solid objects and to locate the position of flying insects. Bats have the most acute sense of hearing of any land animal. Hearing frequencies as high as 120 to 210 kHz. The highest frequency humans can hear is 20 kHz. How many tentacles do the cephalopods have? Octopods have eight tentacles or arms, squids have ten tentacles. And there are as many as ninety in the chambered nautilus. What is the composition of synthetic soil? Synthetic soil is composed of a variety of organic and inorganic materials. Inorganic substances used include pumice, calcium at clay, cinders, vermiculite, perlite, and sand. Vermiculite and perlite are used for water retention and drainage. Organic materials used include wood residues, manure, sphagnum moss, plant residues, and peat. Sphagnum peat moss is also helpful for moisture retention and lowers the pH of the mixture. 
lime may be added to offset the acidity of peat. Synthetic soil may also be referred to as growing medium, soil mixes, potting mixture. Plant substrate, greenhouse soil, potting soil, and amended soil. Most synthetic soils are deficient in important mineral nutrients, which can be added during the mixing process or with water. Where do hay bulbs occur? Hay bulbs, derived from the Arabic word have meaning to blow. Are violent dust storms with strong winds of sand and dust. They are most common in the Sahara region. Of Africa and the deserts of southwestern United States, Australia, and Asia. What is the size and location of the heart? Heart size varies with body size. The average adult's heart is about 5.5 inches, 14 centimeters. Long and 3.5 inches, 9 centimeters, wide or approximately the size of one's fist. The heart is located just above the diaphragm, between the right and left lungs. One third of the heart is located on the right side of the chest, while two thirds are located on the left side of the chest. What is inertia? Inertia is the tendency of all objects and matter in the universe to stay still, or if moving, to continue moving in the same direction unless acted on by some outside force. This forms the first law of motion formulated by Isaac Newton, 1642-1727. To move a body at rest, enough external force must be used to overcome the object's inertia. The larger the object is, the more force is required to move it. In his philosophy Naturalis Principia Mathematica, Published in 1687, Newton sets forth all three laws of motion. Newton's second law is that the force to move a body is equal to its mass times its acceleration. F equals ma, and the third law states that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Who invented the barometer? A barometer is a device that measures air pressure. It was invented in 1644 by Evangelista Torricelli, 1608-1647. Fifteen sixty four to sixteen forty two, for a short time. Torricelli was inspired by Galileo's observation that piston pumps can only lift water up thirty three feet, about ten meters, after which point it is impossible to pump the water any higher. Torricelli proposed that air had weight, and therefore, exerted pressure. He tested his theory by filling a dish with mercury, a liquid that is 13.6 times denser than water. 
a liquid that is denser than water allowed him to use a smaller quantity and a glass tube, which was easier to manipulate. He then took a glass tube 4 feet, 1.2 meters, long glass tube that was open on one end, filled it with mercury, and turned it upside down with the open end beneath the surface of the mercury in the dish. Some, but not all of the mercury, flowed from the tube into the dish, 30 inches, 760 millimeters, remained. The only force that was able to support the mercury in the tube was the weight of the air exerting pressure on the mercury in the dish. The word barometer which means weight measure, from the Greek baros, meaning weight and metron. Meaning meter, was not coined until 1665 by Robert Boyle, 1627-1691. Boyle also changed the design for the barometer by using a shaped tube. Thus eliminating the need for a mercury reservoir. The English physicist Robert Hooke, 1635-1703. Further improved on the barometer by creating an easy Toriad dial display. If you melted all the ice in the world, how high would the oceans rise? If you melted all the ice in the world, some 5.5 million cubic miles, 23 million cubic kilometers. In all, the oceans would rise 1.7% or about 180 feet, 60 meters. Which is enough, for example, for 20 stories of the Empire State Building to be underwater. Is there a Nobel Prize in Mathematics? We do not know for certain why Alfred Nobel did not establish a prize in mathematics. There are several theories revolving around his relationship and dislike for Gosta Mittagleffler. 1846-1927, the leading Swedish mathematician in Nobel's time. Most likely it never occurred to Nobel or he decided against another prize. The Fields Medal in Mathematics is generally considered as prestigious as the Nobel Prize. The Fields Medal was first awarded in 1936. Its full name is now the CRM Fields PIMS Prize. The 2009 winner was Martin Barlow, 1953. For his work in probability and in the behavior of diffusions on fractals and other disordered media. What is menopause? Menopause is the cessation of ovulation and menstrual periods. The supply of follicles in the ovaries is depleted. Increasing the amount of follicle stimulating hormone, FSH, while decreasing the amount of estrogen and progesterone. The process may take one to two years. The years preceding the final menstrual period are known as perimenopause. Menopause usually occurs between ages 45 and 55, the average age in the United States is 51 to 52 years.
What are the odds against being struck by lightning? The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration estimates the odds of being struck by lightning at 1 in 750,000 in a given year. However, the odds drop to 1 in 500,000 based on the number of unreported lightning strikes. The odds of being struck by lightning in one's lifetime are 1 in 6,250. During the past 30 years, there has been an average of 58 reported lightning fatalities per year. How many women have been awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry, Physics, or Physiology or Medicine? Since 1901, the Nobel Prize in Chemistry, Physics, or Physiology or Medicine has been awarded to women 16 times to 15 different women. Marie Curie, 1867 to 1934, was the only woman and one of the few individuals to receive the Nobel Prize twice. How does a bat catch flying insects in total darkness? Bats use sound waves for communication and navigation. They emit supersonic radiation ranging from as low as 200 Hz to as high as 30,000 Hz. The sounds are emitted through the bat's nostrils or mouth and are aided by a complex flap structure to provide precise directivity to the radiation. Echo returns from the emissions allow a bat to pick out a tiny flying insect some distance ahead. Highly sensitive ears and an ability to maneuver with great agility enables many bats to fly around in a darkened cave, catching insects without fear of collision. What are the Labri tar pits? The tar pits are located in an area of Los Angeles, California, formerly known as Rancho Labri. Heavy, sticky tar oozed out of the earth there, the scum from great petroleum reservoirs far underground. The pools were cruel traps for uncounted numbers of animals. Today, the tar pits are a part of Hancock Park, where many fossil remains are displayed along with life-sized reconstructions of these prehistoric species. The tar pits were first recognized as a fossil site in 1875. However, Scientists did not systematically excavate the area until 1901. By comparing Rancho Labri's fossil specimens with their nearest living relatives, paleontologists have a greater understanding of the climate, vegetation, and animal life in the area during the Ice Age. Perhaps the most impressive fossil bones recovered belong to such large extinct mammals as the imperial mammoth and the saber-toothed cat. Paleontologists have even found the remains of the western horse and the camel, which originated in North America. Migrated to other parts of the world, and became extinct in North America at the end of the Ice Age.
What is a golden section? Golden section, also called the divine proportion, is the division of a line segment so that the ratio of the whole segment to the larger part is equal to the ratio of the larger part to the smaller part. The ratio is approximately 1.61803 to 1. The number 1.61803 is called the golden number. Also called phi with a capital P. The golden number is the limit of the ratios of consecutive Fibonacci numbers, such as for instance, 21 thirteenths and 34 twenty firsts. A golden rectangle is one whose length and width correspond to this ratio. The ancient Greeks thought this shape had the most pleasing proportions. Many famous painters have used the golden rectangle in their paintings. And architects have used it in their design of buildings, the most famous example being the Greek Parthenon. What is the funny bone? The funny bone is not a bone but part of the ulnar nerve located at the back of the elbow. A bump in this area can cause a tingling sensation or produce a temporary numbness and paralysis of muscles on the forearm. The areas of glaciation in some parts of the world are, which is purer, glacier ice or regular ice. Impurities found in the snow grains of glaciers have mostly moved to the boundaries of the grains and been flushed out. Glacier ice is like triple distilled water and hence purer than regular ice. How does a homing pigeon find its way home? Scientists currently have two hypotheses to explain the homing flight of pigeons. Neither has been proved to the satisfaction of all the experts. The first hypothesis involves an odor map. This theory proposes that young pigeons learn how to return to their original point of Departure by smelling different odors that reach their home in the winds from varying directions. They would, for example, learn that a certain odor is carried on winds blowing from the east. If a pigeon were transported eastward, the odor would tell it to fly westward to return home. The second hypothesis proposes that a bird may be able to extract its home's latitude and longitude from Earth's magnetic field. It may be proven in the future that neither theory explains the pigeons' navigational abilities or that some synthesis of the two theories is plausible. Which skills are controlled by the left cerebral hemisphere? And which are controlled by the right cerebral hemisphere? The left side of the brain controls the right side of the body. 
as well as spoken and written language, logic, reasoning, and scientific and mathematical abilities. In contrast, the right side of the brain controls the left side of the body and is associated with imagination. Spatial perception, recognition of faces, and artistic and musical abilities. What is technetium? Technetium, TC, element 43, is a radioactive metallic element that does not occur naturally either in its pure form or as compounds, it is produced during nuclear fission. A fission product of molybdenum, MO, element 42. TC can also occur as a fission product of uranium, U, element 92. It was the first element to be made artificially in 1937 when it was isolated and extracted by Carlo Perrier. 1886-1948, and Emilio Segre, 1905-1989. Technetium has found significant application in diagnostic imaging and nuclear medicine. Ingested soluble technetium compounds tend to concentrate in the liver and are valuable in labeling and in radiological examination of that organ. Also, by technetium labeling of blood serum components. Diseases involving the circulatory system can be explored. What is the largest terrestrial mammal in North America? The bison, bison bison, is the largest terrestrial mammal in North America. It weighs 3,100 pounds, 1,406 ligrams, and is 6 feet, 1.8 meters, high. Which elements are the noble metals? The noble metals are gold, O, element 79, silver, AG, element 47, mercury, HG, element 80. And the platinum group, which includes platinum, PT, element 78, palladium, PD, element 46, iridium. IR, element 77, rhodium, RH, element 45, ruthenium, RU, element 44, and osmium, OS, element 76. The term refers to those metals highly resistant to chemical reaction or oxidation. Resistant to corrosion, and is contrasted to base metals, which are not so resistant. The term has its origins in ancient alchemy whose goals of transformation and perfection were pursued through the different properties of metals and chemicals. The term is not synonymous with precious metals, although a metal, like platinum, may be both. The platinum group metals have a variety of uses. In the United States more than 95% of all platinum group metals are used for industrial purposes. While platinum is a coveted material for jewelry making. It is also used in the catalytic converters of automobiles to control exhaust emissions, as are rhodium and palladium.
Rhodium can also be alloyed with platinum and palladium for use in furnace windings. Thermocouple elements, and in aircraft spark plug electrodes. Osmium is used in the manufacture of pharmaceuticals and in Alloys for instrument pivots and long-life phonograph needles. What is the difference between an endangered species and a threatened species? An endangered species is one that is in danger of extinction. Throughout all or a significant portion of its range. A threatened species is one that is likely to become. Endangered in the foreseeable future due to declining numbers. What is a tufa? It is a general name for calcium carbonate, CACO3, deposits or spongy porous limestone found at springs in limestone areas. Or in caves as massive stalactite or stalagmite deposits. Tufa derived from the Italian word for soft rock is formed by the precipitation of calcite from the water of streams and springs how do polarized sunglasses reduce glare Sunlight reflected from the horizontal surface of water, glass, and snow is partially polarized. With the direction of polarization chiefly in the horizontal plane. Such reflected light may be so intense as to cause glare. Polarized sunglasses contain filters that block, absorb. Light that is polarized in a direction perpendicular to the transmission axis. The transmission axis of the lenses of polarized sunglasses are oriented vertically. What is a heat wave? A heat wave is a period of two days in a row when apparent temperatures on. The National Weather Service heat index exceed 105 degrees Fahrenheit to 110 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 degrees Celsius to 43 degrees Celsius. Heat waves can be extremely dangerous. According to the National Weather Service, 175 to 200 Americans die from heat in a normal summer. Between 1936 and 1975, as many as 15,000 Americans died from problems related to heat. In 1980, 1,250 people died during a brutal heat wave in the Midwest. In 1995, more than 500 people died in the city of Chicago from heat-related problems. A majority of these individuals were the elderly living in high-rise apartment buildings without proper air conditioning. Large concentrations of buildings, parking lots, and roads create an urban heat island in cities with higher temperatures than the surrounding open, rural areas. In what ways are leaves economically important?
leaves are used for food and beverages, dyes and fibers, and medicinal and other industrial uses. Certain plants, such as cabbage, Brassica oleracea, lettuce, Lactica sativa. Spinach, Spinacea oleracea, and most herbs including parsley. Petrosilinum crispum, and thyme, Thymus vulgaris, are grown for their leaves. Berbera leaves, Arctostaphylos uva ursi, contain a natural yellow dye. While henna leaves, Lawsonia inermis, contain a natural red dye. The leaves of palm trees are used to make clothing, brooms, and thatched huts in tropical climates. Aloe vera leaves are well known for treating burns and are also used in manufacturing medicated soaps and creams. How are the teeth and tongue involved in chewing? The first stage of mechanical digestion is mastication, or chewing. Initially, the teeth tear and shred large pieces of food into smaller units. The muscles of the tongue, cheeks, and lips help keep the food on the surfaces of the teeth. The tongue then compacts the food into a small round mass of material called the bolus. The salivary glands help lubricate the food with secretions. What are the primary colors in light? Color is determined by the wavelength of visible light. The distance between one crest of the light wave and the next. Those colors that blend to form white light are from shortest wavelength to longest, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. All these monochromatic colors, except indigo, occupy large areas of the spectrum. The entire range of wavelengths produced when a beam of electromagnetic radiation is broken up. These colors can be seen when a light beam is refracted through a prism. Some consider the primary colors to be six monochromatic colors that occupy large areas of the spectrum. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Many physicists recognize three primary colors, red, green, and blue. All other colors can be made from these by adding two primary colors in various proportions. Within the spectrum, scientists have discovered 55 distinct hues. Infrared and ultraviolet rays at each end of the spectrum are invisible to the human eye. How much water does the average family in the United States use per day? The average family in the United States uses 69.3 gallons, 262 liters, of water per day. This includes showers, toilets, faucets, dishwashing, clothes washing, faucets, and other uses. What is a mutation?
a mutation is an alteration in the DNA sequence of a gene. Mutations are a source of variation to a population. But they can have detrimental effects in that they may cause diseases and disorders. One example of a disease caused by a mutation is sickle cell disease. In which there is a change in the amino acid sequence, valine is substituted for glutamic acid. Of two of the four polypeptide chains that make up the oxygen carrying protein known as hemoglobin. How is chromatography used to identify individual compounds? Chromatography is another technique used to separate mixtures into their individual components. The most common chromatographic techniques are paper chromatography. Gas liquid chromatography, also called gas chromatography, thin layer chromatography. And high pressure, or high performance, liquid chromatography, HPLC. All methods of chromatography share common characteristics. The process is based on the principle that different chemical compounds will stick to a solid surface or dissolve in a film of liquid, to different degrees. Chromatography involves a sample, or sample extract, being dissolved in a mobile phase. Which may be a gas, a liquid, or a supercritical fluid. The mobile phase is then forced through an immobile, immiscible stationary phase. The phases are chosen in such a manner that components of the sample have differing solubilities in each phase. The least soluble component is separated first, and as the separation process continues, the components are separated by increasing solubility. What is a gland? Glands are secretory cells or multicellular structures that are derived from epithelium and often stay connected to it. They are specialized for the synthesis, storage and secretion of chemical substances. Glands are classified as either endocrine or exocrine glands. Endocrine glands do not have ducts, but release their secretions directly into the extracellular fluid. The secretions pass into capillaries and are then transported by the bloodstream to target cells elsewhere in the body. Exocrine glands have ducts that carry the secretions to some body surface. Mucus, saliva, perspiration, earwax, oil, milk, and digestive enzymes are examples of exocrine secretions. When was spontaneous combustion first recognized? Spontaneous combustion is the ignition of materials stored in bulk. This is due to internal heat buildup caused by oxidation, generally a reaction in which electrons are lost. Specifically when oxygen is combined with a substance, or when hydrogen is removed from a compound. Because this oxidation heat cannot be dissipated into the surrounding air, 
the temperature of the material rises until the material reaches its ignition point and bursts into flame. A Chinese text written before 290 CE recognized this phenomenon in a description of the ignition of stored oiled cloth. The first Western acknowledgement of spontaneous combustion was by J.P. F. Duhamel in 1757. When he discussed the gigantic conflagration of a stack of oil-soaked canvas sails drying in the July sun. Before spontaneous combustion was recognized, such events were usually blamed on arsonists. Who was the first physician to use chemotherapy as a medical treatment? Chemotherapy is the use of chemical substances to treat diseases, specifically malignant diseases. The drug must interfere with the growth of bacterial, parasitic, or tumor cells, without significantly affecting host cells. Especially effective in types of cancer such as leukemia and lymphoma. Chemotherapy was introduced in medicine by the German physician Paul Ehrlich, 1854-1915. What are the sizes of silicon chips? Small silicon chips may be no more than 1 16th square by 1 30th thick and hold up to tens of thousands of transistors. Large chips, the size of a postage stamp, can contain hundreds of millions of transistors. What is farsightedness? Farsightedness, or hyperopia, is the ability to see distant objects but not close ones. It is a disorder in which the focal point is too far from the lens. And the image is focused behind the retina when looking at a close object. In this condition, the lens must thicken to bring somewhat distant objects into focus. Farsightedness is corrected by a convex lens that causes light. Rays to converge as they approach the eye to focus on the retina. Farsightedness is less common than nearsightedness affecting only 5 to 10 percent of Americans. What is Web 2? Web 2.0 is not a new version of the World Wide Web but rather a collection of new technologies that changes the way users interact with the web. When Tim Berners-Lee, 1955, created the World Wide Web it was a repository of information with static content and users were generally unable to easily change or add to the content they were viewing. Newer technologies allow users to contribute to the Internet with blogs, wikis, and social networking sites. A further distinction of Web 2.0 is cloud computing where data and applications, apps, are stored on web servers, rather than on individual computers. 
allowing users to access their documents, files, and data from any computer with a web browser. Apps include many products, such as word processing and spreadsheets, that were traditionally found in software packages. How do we determine when ancient volcanic eruptions occurred? The most common method used to date ancient volcanic eruptions is carbon dating. Carbon dating relies on the rate of radioactive decay of carbon-14. It is used to date eruptions that took place more than 200 years ago. Charcoal from trees burned during a volcanic eruption is almost pure carbon and is Ideal for tracing the tiny amounts of carbon-14 spots in Earth's crust. The magma erupts forth and lava flows or shoots into the air as clouds of lava fragments, ash, and dust. The accumulation of debris from eruptions cause the volcano to grow in size. There are four kinds of volcanoes, Cinder cones are built of lava fragments. They have slopes of 30 degrees to 40 degrees and seldom exceed 1,640 feet 500 meters, in height. Sunset Crater in Arizona and Periquitan in Mexico are examples of cinder cones. Composite cones are made of alternating layers of lava and ash. They are characterized by slopes of up to 30 degrees at the summit. Tapering off to 5 degrees at the base. Mount Fuji in Japan and Mount St. Helens in Washington are composite cone volcanoes. Shield volcanoes are built primarily of lava flows. Their slopes are seldom more than 10 degrees at the summit and 2 degrees at the base. The Hawaiian Islands are clusters of shield volcanoes. Mauna Loa is the world's largest active volcano, rising 13,653 feet 4,161 meters, above sea level. Lava domes are made of viscous, pasty lava squeezed like toothpaste from a tube. Examples of lava domes are Lassen Peak and Mono Dome in California. What is the role of yeast in beer production? Beer is made by fermenting water, malt, sugar, hops, yeast, species Saccharomyces, salt, and citric acid. Each ingredient has a specific role in the creation of beer. Malt is produced from a grain usually barley that has sprouted, been dried in a kill, and ground into a powder. Malt gives beer its characteristic body and flavor. Hops is made from the fruit that grows on the herb Humulus lupulus, a member of the mulberry family. The fruit is picked when ripe and is then dried, the ingredient gives beer a slightly bitter flavor. Yeast is used for the fermentation process. Making beer is a complex process. One method begins by mixing and mashing malted barley with a cooked cereal grain such as corn. This mixture called wort, is filtered before hops is added to it. The wort is then heated until it is completely soluble. The hops is removed, 
and after the mixture is cooled, yeast is added. The beer ferments for 8 to 11 days at temperatures that range between 50 degree 70 degree F, 10 degree 21 degree C. The beer is then stored and kept at a state that is close to freezing. During the next few months the liquid takes on its final character before carbon dioxide is added for effervescence. The beer is then refrigerated, filtered, and pasteurized in preparation for bottling or canning. 